Hello friends, this is Father Frank Pavone, National Director of Priests for Life, joining you from our Priests for Life headquarters in New York. You can see our Christmas tree and our decorations are in full gear, both inside and out, as we approach the great feast of Christmas, the birth of Christ. The angels said, to you is born a Savior, who is Messiah and Lord. Not just the Messiah of the Lord, but the Messiah who is Lord. God didn't just send his Messiah to save us, he came himself. Christ, God, made one of us. And brothers and sisters, at this particular time of Christmas, I invite you to reflect as we prepare to enter 2010, which is an election year, on the fact that Christmas is the basis of our political responsibility. Many don't think of Christmas in these terms. But you know, in the pagan world, government leaders and rulers of the earth were considered to be supermen, were considered to be some kind of god. And the individuals, the peoples being governed, didn't really matter. They had no voice, they had no say. One of the sayings was, the law comes from the mouth of the king. In other words, whatever the king would say is what the people would have to live under. But when Christ came, when God became a human being, then, as the Christmas hymn, O Holy Night, says, the soul felt its worth. In other words, the individual matters now, because in Christ becoming one of us, we all have access to God. And if we all have access to God, then we do have a voice. We do matter. That actually is the basis of representative government. The shift from thinking that the king rules and the people don't matter to the kind of government that says the people rule themselves and their voice does matter is all thanks to Christmas. God has become one of us. God is our brother now. We all have access to him in Christ. That's why we need to take courage as we enter this new year. Many of us are concerned about the developments with health care reform, but brothers and sisters, as we fight hard, we do so with peace and even joy. Don't lose your peace of mind, because in 2010, we're going to have the opportunity to change those who are in leadership. And we do it because God is with us. He's in us. And in the newborn Christ, we all have a voice. This Christmas, I'll be praying for you. And shortly after the new year, we'll be organizing conference calls and gatherings across the country to prepare for the elections this November. Let's understand the true meaning of Christmas, that in Christ, we all have the promise and the hope of real change. Merry Christmas, and God bless you.